So we're here with Yasmin of Supermama. Yasmin, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Nina? Great. And uh, where are you right now? We are in our new office in Cairo, uh, enjoying the first day with Supermama having an actual office. Fantastic, Mabruk. Thank you. Do you have any furniture yet? Uh, we're actually sharing a, a space work with an existing company. Being a startup, you don't want to end up, you know, buying everything or renting a very expensive office. So we thought, why not co-work and share an office space? We okay. think it's uh, going to work well for the long run. Great. And also, maybe you get the benefit of then um, connecting with people in the office. Exactly, exactly. There's always the benefit. when And working in, a, in an existing environment gives you the the extra buzz of having to, to stabilize more than having the sporadic activities, if you know what I mean. You mean there's more structure? Yes, exactly. Yeah, good. Well, so let's start off with, um, tell me about Supermama. Describe uh, for WAMDA, what, what exactly is Supermama? Uh, Supermama is uh, the first online parenting community for mothers in the Arab world. Uh, it offers information that, uh, in the form of articles and uh, videos coming soon, um, written by experts and researchers and uh, subject matter specialists uh, that cover the different aspects of a mother's life from pregnancy and parenting up to uh, managing a household, uh, balancing between career, home, husband and kids and things like that. And we even have a recipe section. Um, there is also a space for discussion where moms can post questions, share their experience, and tell their personal uh, stories and connect with other moms. And there is a small toolbox to help moms uh, sort of uh, manage their time, health, uh, and even money. We're building uh, some tools to help manage the household budget and things like that. It's, it's in Arabic and English, and uh, it's, it's specially built for Arab moms, so it's, it's local for us. Great, so it's both a content portal and, and also a, a toolbox so women can yes. log on and... Okay. Yes, exactly. What's your longer term plan? How did you come up with your revenue model? Well, the business model is, is fairly simple at this point. We have a partnership with one of the uh, group buying sites in Egypt and we hope to have more partnerships in the region as we go along for an affiliation fee. Um, for like when they offer Supermama exclusive deals, we get a percentage of that. And um, but the main revenue stream is through different forms of advertising, but not just banner ads. There's also the ability to white label a specific uh, section of the site, offer product reviews or uh, sponsored articles or sponsored content, um, placement of uh, products in videos or in text. Uh, so we offer different models and we think it's going to be very useful because you know how in, for example, in women magazines like Elle and Vogue and uh, Cosmopolitan, women want, we want to see what's the latest advertising because we want to see the products that are there. So uh, it, it's not actually annoying advertising, it's an, an advertising that you want to interact with. So that's what we try to offer in Supermama is give you, like, show you what's out there that fits your needs. Yeah, it's a huge market. Yes. Um, and how have you funded it so far? Well, so far it's been self-funding between us founders. Um, and we've also won a number of competitions and those have uh, put some money in. But we're in the stage of talking to NPCs and angels and trying to uh, take it to the next step. Tell me about winning the, the competitions. You've been on a roll lately. What have you been up to? Yeah. Well, it's, it, it all started uh, by pure coincidence. Uh, when we first came up with the idea, we stumbled upon the MIT Business Plan Competition 2010, and we applied and got selected out of one of the semi-finalists out of 3,800 applicants. Uh, so that was the first step for us, understanding more about the business model and understanding about making money. They gave us a brilliant crash two-day crash course on entrepreneurship that helped us a lot. Uh, and sort of we knew that we weren't um, ready to become one of the finalists, so it wasn't a shock that we weren't. But it, it drove us to work harder uh, and uh, recruit the missing people in the team, 
focus more on the business, not just the technical side. And from there, we applied to something called the Next Gen Competition in Egypt, which has been uh, sponsored by the uh, US Aid and the Danish Foreign Ministry. And uh, we won that competition. The, the result was the, actually the prize was a three month um, accelerated program in Copenhagen called the Startup Bootcamp. And we just came back like two weeks ago from Startup Bootcamp Copenhagen. Uh, while there, we applied to uh, something called the Innovation Competition. It, it, it was uh, located in Poland, but it covered all Europe. So, uh, however, we, a, co a company from the Middle East, won the competition. That was 10,000 euros. And it, it, it's like, um, it was amazing for us to, um, to see how much Europe is not that different from the Arab world when it comes to skills or uh, competitions or presentations and so forth. And then our uh, last uh, award was the uh, uh, ArabNet uh, startup demo in Cairo last uh, October. We won the first prize. And uh, now we've just been uh, selected one of the 200 uh, uh, companies in the Google Ed competition in Cairo. So we'll see how that goes. Amazing. You guys are just winning all over the place. Yeah, we just need some money. So if winning is the easy way, we'll do that. <laughs> sure. It must be a good boost of confidence, though, to, to be able to see other people, you know, think your product is valuable. On one hand, yes, it is definitely a boost of confidence. But on the other, you also interact with other entrepreneurs in the region. All the partnerships I talked about happened because we met them in competitions. So... Uh, as we're supposed to be competing, but at the end we're actually gaining friends and partners. So I think it's a plus. Fantastic. Uh, that's the way it should be. Um, Yasmin, what have your biggest challenges been? I mean, it sounds like it's been a pretty, pretty, you're making it sound easy. But let us in on what are, what are the tough parts? Um, the whole thing is tough. It's not easy at all. It requires so much hard work and so much time and conflict resolution and planning and changing your focus and repivoting. But the biggest challenges at this point now are um, how to build the largest community possible and spend the least money possible, which is, I think, everybody's challenge. But for us, it's 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 it directly affects us, especially with all that's happening in the region, because you can see how the political events on, for example, Google Analytics, the the viewing chart affect directly the users from visiting Super Mama. And um, but on the other hand, also uh, arranging the content and managing the volunteers is not an easy job because, like I said, mothers working from home, they have their kids to take to school, the babies that. Uh, just this week, three of my volunteers gave birth, so I'm three volunteers short, and you have to cater accordingly. Uh, sometimes um, we get uh, input that is so inconsistent with other things, and, and you have to coordinate and send the article back. Maybe it's typical in, a, in an editorial uh, or in a publishing house, but for a website, I don't, I have not seen something in the region maybe with dealing with so much volunteers, maybe when it's full-timers, it's easier. I don't know. It's, uh, no, it's really hard. It doesn't look easy at all. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, especially if you're, you're basically four moms by moms. Yes, um, so exactly. It's, it's very authentic. I, I mean, I like this approach that you have moms as volunteers. Yeah, it, uh, it adds, like, I think for moms, it helps a lot to know that you are understood and heard, and this is why we're talking to you. It's not like we're, you have a, someone in, there in, an, in a high-up status telling them what to do. It's like, I've been there, I've tried that, and this is my advice to you. Uh, and what's next for you guys on, on Super Mama? What, what do you guys have set up for the next year? Uh, well, in the next few weeks, we'll be uh, showing video, video content, like... Uh, both on the interviews and uh, crafts to do with kids and so forth. Then a bit later, we start working on our... Um, sorry. Uh, I mean, mostly the, the goal is to reach as many countries as possible. Our Like right now, the, the, the focus is on Egypt. So 80-something uh, percent of our users are from Egypt. 
But we want to talk to the rest of the Arab region because we know that all the moms there suffer the same issues. Um, and we want to produce more types of content and b bigger variety so that it, it appeals to all the moms. Um, we'll be offering more competitions and more prizes and uh, more features on the social aspect of like for moms to connect together on Super Mom. That's where we're going in the next few, at least next few months, not, not necessarily a year. But because we're so, we're a really small team, we are flexible. So we whatever happens, we can cater to it. Like if we realize that uh, there's a new trend coming up in 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 motherhood or in uh, or new tools or technologies that we can use to assist moms, that what that's like we're agile enough to adapt to that to to offer the best to our community. Great. And, uh, and just finally, what inspires you? I mean, what inspires you to come up with a new topic? How do you, how do you dream things up on Supermama? Uh, a big chunk of it is actually requested by the community, like on our Facebook fan page or in, on our uh, co uh, community section. A lot of moms ask for specific topics. Like, like last week, we've been asked for things for twins. And now topics for twins have been assigned to the writers to work on. Um, so that's one part. The other part is that because uh, we are doing a lot of reading and researching on different uh, topics in the, like, uh, and different mama sites in Europe and the US and whenever we face something interesting we see if it is applicable to our region and if so, how do we localize it? That being said, some of our experts as well have their own uh, like They've been in the business for so long. Like, like the pediatrician tells us, mothers of ten-year-old kids will need to read about so and so. So, it's different points of input, really. Great. Well, it sounds like you have a great network to tap into for content and support. Yeah. Good. Well, I look forward to seeing Super Mama grow. And thanks, thanks for chatting with us today. Thank you, Nina. Thanks. And thank you, Wanda. Of course.